Question 16. Taylor. Researchers at a local university claim that 61% of the information transferred during a conversation is communicated through nonverbal signals. But this claim, like all such mathematically precise claims, is suspect because claims of such exactitude can never be established by science. So pausing here, looking at Taylor's passage first, argument or facts, and clearly we have an argument. Taylor's point is that this claim is suspect. And what is this claim? Well, the claim that researchers are making that 61% of information transferred during a conversation is communicated through nonverbal signals. And how do we know that this claim is suspect? Well, the premise is that because claims of such exactitude can never be established by science. Okay, so now turning our attention to Sandra, while precision is unobtainable in many areas of life, it is commonplace in others. Many scientific disciplines obtain extremely precise results which should not be doubted merely because of their precision. So Sandra, argument of facts, you notice this is clearly just a set of facts here, where she points out some considerations that she believes Taylor is overlooking, right? That while precision is unattainable in many areas of life, it's commonplace in others, and many scientific disciplines obtain extremely precise results, so they should not be doubted merely because of this precision. All right, so moving to the question stem, the statements above provide the most support for holding that Sandra would disagree with Taylor about which one of the following statements. Disagree. So this is a point at issue question. So a type of must be true question because again, we're looking to the statements that these individuals have made and trying to find the point that they disagree about. So let's turn our attention here to A. Research might reveal that 61% of the information taken in during conversation is communicated through nonverbal signals. Is that the point at issue? What would Taylor say to A? We're not quite sure if research might reveal it. Taylor is just saying that we can't believe this claim because claims of such exactitude can never be established by science. So actually, I guess Taylor would disagree with this. He does not believe that research can reveal this because claims of such exactitude can never be established by science. So safe to say that Taylor disagrees. But what about Sandra? Do we know what Sandra thinks about A? Does Sandra mention whether she believes research might reveal that 61% of the information taken in during a conversation is communicated through nonverbal signals? And you notice she does not mention that. Sandra's claims are much more broad, much more general, doesn't address A, so we don't know Sandra's opinion, so A cannot be the correct answer, and A would be eliminated. Again, we're looking for an answer choice where somebody agrees and the other person disagrees. Which brings us to B. It is possible to determine whether 61% of the information taken in during a conversation is communicated through nonverbal signals. So kind of similar to A. Research might reveal, B says it is possible to determine. But again, this is what Taylor seems to be taking most issue with, this idea of being able to determine whether this claim is accurate because, again, such claims of exactitude can never be established by science. So again, seems like Taylor would disagree with that statement. Does not agree that it's possible to determine whether this happens because claims of such exactitude can never be established by science. What about Sandra, though? And again, you notice the same problem that we had in A, we have in B. Sandra does not address this. Sandra's claims are much more broad and general. So we do not know Sandra's opinion on B, so B is out. C, the study of verbal and nonverbal communication is an area where one cannot expect great precision in one's research results. Well, do we know what Taylor thinks about C? The study of verbal and nonverbal communication is an area where one cannot expect great precision in one's research results. 
And again, you notice Taylor does not address C at all. We do not know Taylor's opinion of that. We just know that this claim that 61% of information is transferred during a conversation non-verbally is suspect because claims of such exactitude can never be established by science. Sandra, too. We have no idea what Sandra's opinion on this is. We know that Sandra thinks that many scientific disciplines obtain extremely precise results, but nothing about the study of nonverbal or verbal communication. So again, we do not know either's opinion on C, so C clearly does not follow. Moving to D, some sciences can yield mathematically precise results that are not inherently suspect. So let's take a look now. What does Taylor think about D? Well, if you look at Taylor's last sentence, his premise is claims of such exactitude could never be established by science. So clearly Taylor disagrees that some sciences can yield mathematically precise results that are not inherently suspect. So Taylor clearly disagrees, but what about Sandra? And you notice Sandra says many scientific disciplines obtain extremely precise results that should not be doubted merely because of their precision. So Sandra agrees with D. So D, Taylor would disagree with it. Sandra agrees with the statement. That is their disagreement. It is the point at issue. So D would be the correct answer. But again, just making sure, checking E, if inherently suspect claims are usually false, then the majority of claims made by scientists are false as well. So we see a general principle in E, and clearly we know neither Taylor nor Sandra's opinion on this general principle. They never address it. So how could E be their disagreement? E is eliminated.